this video i am going to explain about uh, the various signals uh, used in 8086 uh, microprocessor so totally there are uh, 40 signals are available in uh, 8086 uh, pin diagram we are going to see one by one this is a pin diagram as i told there are uh, uh, 40 pins are available in 8086 microprocessor out of that 40 pins uh, 32 signals are common signals and eight signals uh, separately used for minimum mode and eight signals are separately used for uh, maximum mode uh, we will see one by one what are the signals available so the pin number one and pin number 20 are ground signal pin number 19 is used to uh, provide the uh, timings to the processor that is a clock signal pin number 19 it is a clock signal it is used to uh, provide the timing signals to the uh, microprocessor and uh, pin number 40 it is a power supply signal so power supply is uh, 5 volt uh, then pin number 21 so pin number 21 is a reset signal so what is the use of reset signal is and the reset signal is used to uh, reset the general purpose registers then flag registers then segment registers uh, general purpose register what are the general purpose registers available in microprocessor is uh, uh, accumulator that is ax uh, base register bx count register cx data register uh, dx then uh, pointer register stack pointer and base pointer and index register source index and destination index so to uh, reset uh, that uh, general purpose register as well as uh, segment register and flag register we are using this uh, reset pin uh, that pin number is uh, 21 the next pin is uh, pin number 22 pin number 16 and uh, pin number 39 so the you this pin is uh, actually uh, address or data bus so it is actually a multiplexed pin so it is a multiplexed address and data pin that is ad0 to ad15 so it can either act as an address bus or data bus so what it contains actually is it contains address bits uh, that is a0 to a15 uh, whenever the ale values one so ale means it is an address latch enable whenever that pin is enabled uh, this contains address bits that is from a0 to a15 whenever the ale is zero that is address latch enable uh, pin is disabled that is zero it acts as a data bits that is it contains uh, data bits from 0 to uh, d0 to d15 so why it is multiplexed means uh, to uh, effectively utilize the uh, pins so these pins are multiplexed so how we can demultiplex is uh, demultiplex is uh, demultiplexing is done through the latches And as I told, uh, this is uh, ALE pin. So the ALE pin is uh, pin number 25. It is an address latch enable. As I told, whenever the address latch enable pin is high, uh, the multiplexed address or data bus contains address information. And whenever the ALE is low, that is disabled, uh, it contains the data information. So the next pin is uh, related to interrupt we have three pins uh, pin number 17 this uh, it is a non maskable interrupt there are this is actually uh, related to interrupt uh, we have two different types of interrupts available one is a hardware interrupt and other one is a software interrupt so the non maskable interrupt comes under uh, hardware interrupt uh, there are two types of uh, hardware interrupts available one is a non maskable interrupt and other one is a maskable interrupt so non maskable interrupt means uh, we cannot disable or ignore that interrupt that type of interrupt is called as non maskable interrupt so the pin number 17 is a non maskable interrupt then uh, to generate interrupt request uh, we have a pin uh, that is pin number is 18 so pin number 18 is intr what is intr means it is a interrupt request pin so to uh, whenever the peripheral devices wants to uh, generate an interrupt they will uh, use this pin to generate uh, enable an interrupt so this pin is called as interrupt request pin uh, 
Similarly, we have an interrupt technology. Once the interrupt is acknowledged by the processor, uh, it will be uh, indicated with the help of this interrupt technology pin. The next pin is uh, hold. Okay, so these are all the minimum mode signals. Uh, hold, hold, acknowledge, write, uh, memory and I/O, data transmit and receive, data enable, address latch enable, interrupt acknowledge. So these are all the minimum mode pins. So what is mean by hold pin is uh, whenever the peripheral device uh, uh, wants to uh, interrupt the processor, they will send a hold signal. So in response, uh, the processor, once the processor acknowledge, it will send a hold acknowledgement signal. For that purpose, we are using hold and hold acknowledge. And next signal is uh, uh, A16 uh, to A19 and S3 to S4. So this signal is address or status signal. So this is a address or status bus. So the A16 to A19 and the status bits S3 to S6. So during the first clock cycle, uh, it act as a address line that is A16 to A19. From the uh, second clock cycle, it act as a, uh, a status bits. Okay, so uh, during the first clock cycle, it carries uh, address information. Uh, from the second clock cycle on onwards, it contains the status information. So here, uh, these are the uh, status uh, bit uh, information. So, so the status bit S6, uh, it is a logic zero, and the pin uh, S5 indicates condition of uh, uh, IF flag bits and S3, S4 indicates which segment is accessed during the current bus cycle. We have four segment uh, registers available, uh, extra segment, stack, stack segment, code segment and data segment. Whenever uh, S4 and S3 value is 0, 0, it contains extra segment, it acts as an extra segment. Uh, 0, 1 means uh, the stack segment is accessed, 1, 0 means uh, code segment is accessed and 1, 1 means uh, data segment is accessed. Followed by uh, bus high enable. So whenever this signal is active, uh, so then uh, that is uh, during that uh, DA to D15, uh, that uh, data bits uh, DA to D15 is used. For that we are using the bus high enable signal. So it enables the most significant data bits DA to D15 during the read or write operation. We have uh, 15, uh, 16 data bits are available D0 to D15. Uh, whenever this bit is enabled, so it enables the most significant data bits uh, DA to D15 during the read or write operation. Then we have uh, next bit is uh, the important bit uh, pin number 33. So the pin number 33 decides whether uh, which mode we are working, whether we are working in minimum mode or maximum mode. So if it is high, whenever the pin number 33 is high, uh, it is working in uh, minimum mode. Whenever it is low, it is working in maximum mode. So what is the difference between minimum mode and maximum mode is in minimum mode, you have only one processor is available. That is 8086 processor. But in maximum mode, we have more than one processor is available. That is, uh, apart from the 8086 microprocessor, we have a coprocessor, uh, loosely coupled uh, processor and closely coupled processor. So some additional processor is also available. That is uh, maximum mode. So whenever we are working in minimum mode, the pin number 33 is active. Whenever we are working in maximum mode, the pin number 33 is uh, low. And uh, these are the minimum mode pins. Uh, as I told, hold, hold acknowledge, write, uh, memory and I.O. operation, data transmit and receive, data enable, address latch enable, interrupt acknowledge. And these are the maximum mode signals.